let's get started right now first of all my dear friends the moment you look at this one here the thumb is actually present on this side here wherever you have the thumb that will be the lateral side or else that is the side where you have the radius bone that is why it is known as the radial side then exactly opposite to that one this is the medial side here and medial side is the place where you have ulna that is why it is also known as ulnar side now in this if you are able to observe this muscle over here now this is the muscle on the little more side if you observe this muscle here it is having a higher origin i am mean interested it is going to originate above the little epicondyle over here and this muscle here will be nothing but your brachio radialis muscle this is the brachio radialis muscle and uh, it will be present over here on the lateral side now the important thing about this one you have to remember is it is not supplied by pin it is directly getting the branch from a radial nerve itself so brachio radialis along with ecrl extensor carpi radialis longus these two muscles here will be supplied by radial nerve so first of all you should be able to identify the brachio radialis muscle over here it is having a higher origin above the lateral epicondyle over here this one now after that these two muscles that you are able to see here these two muscles of course this muscle in their name they'll be having extensor because they belong into the posterior compartment and now if you follow this muscles over here follow this muscle here follow this tendon here the tendon is actually going and getting inserted these two tendons are getting inserted onto the base of the metacarpal here that is the reason why in their name you will be having carpi extensor carpi and that is present towards which side of course towards the radius side that is why radialis extensor carpi radialis now out of these two muscles these two muscles are nothing but extensor carpi radialis muscle now out of these two muscle the muscle present on the outer side here is more longer compared to the muscle on the medial side that is the reason why the muscle on the outer side is known as extensor carpi radialis longus muscle and the one towards the medial side here this one will be the extensor carpi radialis brevis you know the meaning very well brevis means short longus means long so this one is ecrl muscle and this one will be the ecrb muscle these two muscles are very much important the two tendons which are coming here please observe them very much carefully here my dear friend later on when i am going to tell you about anatomical snuff box it is going to play a very very major role now this muscle here you can clearly see here it will be actually having like four tendons here and all these four tendons are going into the four digits here and when they are going to contract it is going to help in extension of the digit it is going to help in extension of the digits that is why it is known as extensor digitorum muscle extensor digitorum muscle now apart from this extensor digitorum if you observe here there is one small muscle my dear friend there is one small muscle if you are able to appreciate here let me just remove this here yes this is small muscle here and this muscle if you see the tendon it is actually going towards the index finger again the same thing it is also present in which compartment posterior compartment that is why extensor and this muscle is actually the one which is going towards your index finger index finger that is why it is known as extensor indices extensor indices to extend the index finger now similarly you also have one small muscle here this one which is separated apart and you can see this muscle the tendon is actually going towards the little finger and that is the reason why it is known as extensor digiti minimi extensor digiti minimi now you try to learn these three muscles together first of all you have one big muscle here which is helping in extending all the four digits extensor digitorum then there is a muscle helping in extending the index finger only extensor indices and then the extensor digiti minimi in this manner you can easily remember these three muscles just make the sign like this here done now once you have identified this the last and final one towards the medial side over here of course that one will be extensor again and this muscle is again going and inserting here onto the metacarpal that is why carpi extensor carpi ulnaris muscle so this muscle over here will be the extensor carpi ulnaris muscle perfect so in this manner we are able to identify all the muscles present in the posterior compartment